Good morning and happy Sunday to you ladies. I'm sorry if I'm shaking. I'm walking on my way to work, so yeah, excuse that. But yeah, I've been uh, kind of behind on my Vitas again, as usual. And being that it's day nine, I have to catch up on day seven, eight, and do day nine tonight. So for day seven, what's for supper? I remember that I had um, sardines and green banana. It's a West Indian thing. If you don't know about it, it kind of sounds gross, but it's really not. And I had that with salad, so it's obviously been digested. I don't have a picture or anything of that, but I can show you guys my dinner tonight. I'm sure it's going to be bomb because Sunday dinners, mama always goes off. Um, day eight, describe my YouTube name. Ain't nothing to it really. It's just my YouTube name. It's my real name. Kira Hargrave. My last name changed last year, July 1st, 2014, when I got married to my wonderful husband down in Georgia. So that's that's it for that. Um since I'm on my way to work, I can't really show you what's in my purse now. Obviously, because I'd probably drop stuff and get stuff all over the place, but yeah, you can kind of see the background of my area where I live at. I've lived in this area my whole life. I've lived in two houses in my whole life. I've never moved out of this city, unfortunately, but obviously once I get my visa, I'm going to move up out of this country, which is drastic, but things you got to do for love, right? Well... It's a bit shady over here. Just listening to some Kendrick Lamar in my morning. Old school Kendrick Lamar, not this recent Kendrick Lamar. I can't really mess with that. Um, I still mess with his messages, but I mean, I'm very particular when it comes to music. So if the beat's off, if if a punchline throws me off or something like that, I can't. I just can't. So, you know, some old school Kendrick to get me to work nice and calm. I have a nice easy four hour shift today so I'll be right on home and finishing up on my Vita number nine later on. Excuse me if my volume's low because I have asthma as well so trying to walk and talk and record at the same time that's a lot to ask. That's a lot to ask from me but it's a gorgeous day. I mean it's cold. It's on the cold side wrapping my Toronto sweater on my crew neck and my leggings because it is cold and I cannot mess with that cold. I don't know what kind of summer this has been, but it has been no summer for me. Do not appreciate it. Especially being in Georgia for almost a month in that 110, 115 degree weather. And then coming here, I can't do it. I feel like it's winter. I've been sick since I got back, but um, I'm going to finish walking to work now. I'm just doing this because nobody's on the path to way to work, and I don't feel like invasive of anybody's stuff. I feel very private, although I look kind of crazy holding my phone out like this, but, and talking to myself also, but I'm not really one to care what people think. So, on that note, I'll be back after work with the What's in My Purse Vita, Vita 9, and also What's for Dinner. So it's kind of a catch up slash addition slash slash slash. Anyways, I hope I have a wonderful day and I will see you guys later on tonight. All right. See you later, y'all. Hey guys, this is my bag. This is the bag that I'm going to be using for my What's in My Bag Vita Day 9. Um, this is my favorite purse and currently the only purse that I use at the moment. I got this purse last year for my birthday with a gift card online at spring.ca or .com. Call it spring anyways. Um, so yeah. I'm going to show you guys what's in my bag for the Vita Day 9, August 9th, 2015 of this year. Obviously, 
So this bag is a year old, so it's a little bit crusty now, and I'm kind of due for a new one, which I plan on getting. Hopefully I get a new one for my birthday. And excuse my mattress, because I'm changing my sheets, obviously, tonight. So that's why my bed's naked. So there's that, and I'm going to show you guys what's inside. So, this is the inside of my purse. My purse is huge. Um, a lot of people say it's the size of me. How is my purse so big? How do I carry that? Doesn't my shoulders hurt? Blah, 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 blah. And, yes, they do. But anyways, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't plant anything in here. This is how it was. Drake was playing at this point, and you guys couldn't hear it, Sorry, so it looked Drake kind of embarrassing me. that I just paused. Um, Sorry. So, I'm gonna show you guys just what's in my purse. Like the Vita says... Start with the Loblaws receipt. I work at Loblaws, so that makes sense. I always have Loblaws receipts. Next, we have my DNA Monster headphones case and my headphones and iPod are in there. Those are my headphones and my favorite Tiffany blue color and my iPod Nano 16 gig that I've had for quite some time. Next, I have candy. Airheads Bites. I don't know if you guys know about these. They're kind of new over here. This is only my second time seeing them, and this is a new flavor, so I'm going to try these out. Next, we have my house keys. My house key keychain. I've had it for years. It's crusty. It's old, and it still works, so that's why I have it. Body spray by, what is this? Calgon. I mean, every girl has had these in their life. I had a little four-pack of them. So body spray, Purell, always go everywhere with Purell, I don't trust anything, lotion, hand lotion, I took that from a hotel, I mean, they had a lot, so I took it, whatever, lip gloss, Burt's Bees, I have Kleenexes, these are super cute and super handy, say you get stranded or whatever and you don't have toilet paper, yeah. Definitely carry Kleenexes in your purse. Next, I have my asthma inhaler. Since I have asthma, if you guys don't know, I do. I've had asthma since I was about 9 or 10 years old. I got it late. have a pen. My floral umbrella. I bought this at Walmart for like 10 bucks, And actually, surprisingly, it is the best umbrella I've ever had in my life. It is the most durable, and it was cheap, and it's cute. So, Walmart, $10. That's my umbrella. We, of course, have my wallet. This wallet's not so old, so it's kind of in better shape than everything. And, of course, they don't match because I really don't care for that. Phone charger. I don't really go anywhere without my phone charger. My engagement ring box because when I work, I don't like to wear it. My umbrella cover, which I should put on. A nail file. I always have a nail file on me. I do not go anywhere without a nail file because the way my nails are set up and the work that I do, I mean, I have like a breakdown if my nail breaks at work. So I definitely have to have a nail file all the time. Another pen. More lip balm. This is a Nivea Soothing Care SPF 20. I like to wear this under matte lipsticks because it's really moisturizing and it keeps my lips um, moisturized all day so I don't have to worry about it getting dried out. I have scrunchies. I don't know why because my hair's not really long enough that I wear my hair in scrunchies. My sunglasses from my Vita Day 5 favorite sunglasses. What else? A NYX Butter Gloss. Usually how I have my lipsticks and stuff, I only carry the ones that I use for the day. So I won't just walk around with a billion lipsticks and stuff in my purse. So, a booster juice receipt. Really good smoothies. I had a smoothie yesterday. Another Loblaws receipt, of course. More hand lotion from a hotel. I guess there's kind of a trend. And I have some mint wrappers because every time I leave my house I take mints out of the kitchen table yeah so and finally I have panty liners 
You guys don't really need to see them, but they're in my purse, so you get to see them. And the last thing in my purse is this cocoa butter lip balm. It tastes funny, so I don't really like to use it. But anyways, that's all for what's in my purse. This video is going to be kind of long. It's like a part one, part two kind of thing for this one. But that's all the junk that was in my purse. And that's why I have shoulder problems and back problems. And why my purse always looks huge because it's always full of stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Feel free to like, rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought about my video. What you would like to see done better. What you would like to see improved. Whatever. 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 Thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and I hope to see you guys again.